Hello everyone! I have 10 of the Dreamcatcher Limited albums to unbox, and I got these from K-Town For You. So, I have 10 of the K-Town For You cards. Sorry about the glare, I'm doing this at night, so I have absolutely no like natural light and just have my blinding ring light. So there's going to be blinding ring light reflections sometimes. But let's see the pre-order benefits first. Now this was interesting because usually they don't have pre-order benefits available with the limited albums. The limited albums still didn't count for fan sign entries for K-Town for you, but they did at least come up, come with the pre-order benefits this time, which was really nice. Sometimes they don't always uh, divide things up equally, even if like you've ordered enough for the full set. So we'll see. Right now we have two Sua. And I am loving this album. I really enjoy the solo songs. Here, we'll put this to the side for a second. Tu Handong. Tu Xian. Wan Jiu. Wan Yu Yun. Yay, full set. One Dami. And one Ga Hyun. And then these are the big, giant, uh, thick, limited albums. So for these, I would ideally like to get enough to not have to do enough unique cards to not have to do a ton of trading. But we will see. And last time I was really slow at starting with trade. So I am still missing two limited GU cards for summer holiday. So you guys know the deal. When I have multiple albums, I'll like do a walkthrough of the first one and then I'll just kind of blow through the rest, pulling what we pull. So this is, oh my God, big, ah, yay. Oh, I'm so glad, like we pulled a uh, like little shark Yuhyun already. So I don't have to try and find a trade for this. I know this is pretty popular. And we have a Sua card and she looks stunning. And Dami, she's adorable. Dami is my, like one of my female like alt biases. She is my alt in Dreamcatcher, even though obviously I collect all seven members. So I love everyone. And then we have a little coaster. We have the Sua pop-up fold-out card thing. This is like really, really tight. So that's a little difficult. And I think, you know, like compared to other larger things they've had, like the bookmarks or the, were they bookmarks? Like the little standy type things or yeah, they had bookmarks, the transparent bookmarks last time. This will be a little more frustrating because this won't be as nicely displayed in a binder. And like this really feels like it's like gonna be super tight if you try to actually fold this out in the way like that would maybe like stand to be displayed. So that's a little disappointing, but she looks gorgeous. And then I don't remember all of the inclusions in this actually, but this is gorgeous. So these are like holographic postcards. And it seems like we have a full set. That looks like Gahyun. I'm kind of far away from my table, so. There's Yuhyun. There's Jiyu. Handong. Xi'an. These are really pretty. I like these a lot. Sua. 
and Dami. So what's been interesting about this for me, ah, for me, is that I think for the most part, uh, so this title track is not necessarily my favorite Dreamcatcher title, title track, but I do like it a lot and it's growing on me. I mean, when I say it's growing on me, like it makes it sounds like I didn't like it from the beginning and I, I did like it, but ah, like there are certain songs like Boca or Scream that I just immediately am like, oh my God, I love this. So I didn't have quite the same super strong reaction to it, but I'm really enjoying it. And I love this album. I love all of their songs together. I love their solo tracks. It's a really nice album for them. Here is the CD plate. Very pretty. And I assume that these are random, but we will find out, most likely. <laughs> Here is a folded poster. They look gorgeous. I do really like this like kind of goddess concept they have for this album. I mean, it's a very interesting music video, and I do like the environmental message. Oh, and that has like a magnetic closure to it. That's nice. I like that. So this is a beast. This is super thick. So it'll take a little while to go through. I probably will try not to talk a ton during it just because of how long that will take. Let's see if I put the, give me a sec. I'm gonna see if I can like adjust the lighting down and make this a little easier to view. Okay, you guys, so it's not gonna be quite as bright. Everything will look maybe a little more orange but that'll make the photo book a lot easier to see. Gorgeous. So usually in their limited album, limited photo books, they seem to do, um, I can't remember if it's the exact same photo books as in there normal versions or if it's slightly different photo books there that's that's probably a little better like there's still a glare here but can't really do anything I can't remember if the photo books are always basically the exact same as what's in the normal versions but the limited usually is like the photo back the combined photo books from each of the three normal versions And even if I go through this quickly, feel free to pause and look at pictures if you want. I do really love Sua's hair for this era and Yuyun's hair. I also, I love when Dami has long hair. I think it's really pretty on her, but I mean, Sua's pink hair is just to die for. It's so gorgeous. And uh, like with Yuyun's hair, the like the black and blonde combo is really cute on her. I mean, we have blonde Sua here, but a lot of her stuff has had the pink hair, which I love. That's gorgeous. I do love in this song, I think Dami's rap stands out to me a lot, which I mean, obviously I love that as a Dami bias, but I think her rap just like really pops in it. Oh, this concept is gorgeous. Of the solos, um, I think right now my favorites have been Xion, Dami, and Gaeyeon. Those have been my favorite three. I've liked all of them though. And I mean, they're just some like those songs I've been repeating, but I love all of them. And Cherry is such a cute song. I feel a little bad because I did buy the My Music Taste concert and uh, like the merch that came with it. This is gorgeous, wow. 
like these this series of shots it's just like mind-blowingly stunning but I bought the concert and I just like had a really bad headache I woke up like I think it started at like 4 a.m my time I woke up and I like tried to put it on my phone while staying in bed and I fell back asleep I woke up for Dami's song and then uh fell asleep again woke up for the title track and I think there was one other song I heard a little part of but I was just so tired that I completely missed it which I haven't had that happen for a really long time where like I, I'm usually at like every single online concert like I don't miss stuff but I did so at least they will release a VOD and I'll be able to see it at some point see this is just like killer like Sua and Handong with the like bright red hair like I mean this may be the more pink hair but at least with this it looks more red just gorgeous like everyone's stunning but it really just pops on both of them oh I love these oh my gosh we're like halfway through guys oh that dress is so pretty Oh, so is Dami's. So cute. And then we're back to like our darker concept here. That's a great look on Jiu. Oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> I love that. I love that shot. I have not looked at any unboxings yet for any of these albums. I try to avoid seeing them like while I'm waiting on my albums. Um, and from Kate Town for You, I did only buy the limited albums because it just, you know, I end up getting so many normal albums from other things. So I have some amount of albums coming from Make Star and some from my music taste. That is also stunning. Wow. Oh yeah! Oh my god! That's so cute! Oh my god! Gee, that is so adorable! Oh, I know that caught me off guard by like that was such a surprise going from that to this. I love the fact that like she wrote a song like basically about her dog too. That's so adorable. I'm sorry, I am just overwhelmed by how cute that was. Sorry, the the coloring on my my camera right now is like making it look like way more red under her eyes but the the picture looks pretty normal it's not quite that dramatically red oh my gosh this is the cutest <laughs> this reminds me of the season's greetings like the i don't remember the obviously not the celestial one but like the cute concept one. Ooh, oh my god sua is just like that is insane she looks stunning. She looks like a gorgeous devil there with the little devil horns and stuff. Wow. And I I do really love that they got the chance to have solos. Wow. Oh my gosh. This this is I know this is ridiculous, but these solo concepts are maybe my favorite out of the whole photo book. Like Shion just looks stunning too. Even like the little hat is kind of funny. But, and I loved the sound of her song. Like that, that more traditional sound is just gorgeous. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, and I love Handong's voice. So, Handong's voice. <laughs> and this song fits her so nicely, too. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, cute. Yeah, her her like her song had a very retro vibe to it. And it fits her voice perfectly. Like 
I really feel like I still think Dreamcatcher in general is really underrated, but they're vocalists. I mean, everyone is really underrated, but like they have so many absolutely amazing vocalists in this group. Like Yu Yeon's voice is perfect for pop songs. Like I, she deserves to get like an OST song for sure. And you know, like they just, they just deserve more love. I, okay, I loved Dami's song. It, I really love the sort of like, re, like not retro, but like 90s pop punk, like late 90s, early 2000s pop punk sound that we're getting in a lot of K-pop stuff right now. So like Yena's Smiley had some of that in the Luck To You B-side. And this song kind of had a similar tone, which I just, I love that, so. <laughs> This is great. This is such good styling on Dami too. Oh, this is so cute. Like, look at her. Look at Gaia. Oh, the cutest Magne. This is this is adorable. Wow, I I love this. This like back photo book part is absolutely just killing me. It's amazing. Okay, and then those are the credits. Here's one more group shot. And then that is, this is the S version. I believe they all spell save when you line them up properly. So with that now being done, uh, wait, I'll keep the random that inclusion out and I'll put those back in. Now we're just going to blow through, sorry that I have my camera charging here to record. Um, now we're going to blow through unboxing the other nine albums and we'll just see who we pull. So yeah, there we go. Oh no. Okay, so we've got three of the same cards again. See, it's not the same three. Oh, thank God. <laughs> like, at least it's something. Okay, that's our last one, guys. Let's really hope for something. Oh, God. Okay, well. Wow. Wow. Oh, boy. So I... <laughs> oh. It's, it's like, really funny, but also really, 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 really not. Okay. Let's line those up, shall we? Okay, so for starters, we have six pink Sua, three red Sua, one blonde Sua, one Hendong, six Yuyuns, three Shark Yuyun, one Dami of that version, three Dami's of this version. And then I can't line them up and I can't fit them in screen, but I have six of these Gaian. <sighs> so, so as an OT7 collector, this is like really painful uh, because there are 28 cards total, I believe. Is it 28? Is it 21? It's gotta be 21. Math is hard. Uh, 
yeah, there's 21 cards total for this limited version. And I clearly, ten, okay, well, so we'll be positive. I do have full set of Sua. My computer beeped at me. Sorry, I have a full set of Sua. So no Jiyu, full set of Sua. No Xi'an, one Handong, two Yuyun, two Dami, and one Gaiyun. So, like, in the grand scheme of things, getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine unique cards out of 21, like, hopefully I can find trades easily. It just, you know, it's still only nine unique cards out of 21, which is, like, pretty abysmal. So I guess on the plus side, I'll just be positive that, like, nothing came damaged, nothing was missing photo cards. And at least the cards I got are gorgeous. And I got these Yuhyun, which I think these are probably going to be the, the difficult ones to track down. So at least two of these will, should be easy for trading. But yeah, it's always just it's always disappointing when you order a bunch of albums and you get like mostly dupes. Because, you know, it just means a lot of trading and a lot of work. So, <laughs> oh well. But... I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and hope you guys at least got a laugh out of my comically bad pulls. I forgot to show you guys all the cards we pulled for this. Yeah, so we have one GU, three Suas. Three Xi'ans, no Handong, no Hyuyeon, one Dami, and two Gahyeon. Okay, that's it. That's actually the end now. So <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye.